sure about it. Alan, Mr. Quartermain, hey, you two are in luck. Yeah, in luck for what? I just happen to have two tickets left for the PAL benefit. DJ, I'm sorry. Five bucks a piece? Uh, no, I gave it the office. Yeah. I'm tapped out as well. Maybe next week, Frisco. Listen, I'll see you later, Dad. Where are you going, Alan? To that long overdue showdown. Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, That's good right. luck. Bye. Uh, Mr. Quartermain, it, it's really for a worthy cause. Besides, you're coming to my wedding, aren't you? Well, what the hell's that got to do with business? <laughs> Excuse me. Vince. So how'd you do? No sales at all. You know, I'm terrible at this. Maybe we'll have better luck when we get to the hospital. That's our next stop, right? Patrick! Yeah. How you doing? Hey, Frisco. It's been a while. Listen, yeah. um, you're in luck. I happen to have a few tickets left for the PAL benefit, huh? What do you say? Oh, well, I... I'm sorry, Frisco. I left all my money back at the hospital. Perfect. That's where we're heading, the hospital. I'll catch you when we get back there, okay? Nice tie. Yeah. Hi, Ruby. Tony! Uh, hi, you Just guy. the man I was looking for. Why? What's up? Well, we're peddling tickets for the police athletic league. And I knew I could count on you to buy a couple. Yeah, 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 yeah. How much are they? <laughs> Ten bucks, unless you want a few more. Four. Four? Well, I won't look like such a failure now. <laughs> yeah, Frisco's been having a rough day. I never mm. knew being a salesman could be such a tough job. Mm -hmm. Here's Dr. Rapper's number. Okay, thanks. And listen, you guys should go over to Rick's before he goes. Where's he going? See, he and Jenny are taking a little trip. And if you guys will hurry up over there, you can hit him before he goes, okay? To buy a bunch of them, believe me. It's a good idea, Tony. We've already covered everyone in the hospital. He's always been a sucker for a good cause. He might even buy my whole book. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Fast thinking, Tony. I still got four hours to stall Frisco before the party. Come yeah. on, we gotta catch later. him before he leaves. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Veronica, you've got to stop spoiling Georgie. I don't think he spoiled Elaine just because I let him stay up late once in a while. <laughs> Wait till you have two kids. <laughs> two? <laughs> Wait till you have five. <laughs> oh, you girls don't know how easy you have it now. Felicia, are, are you and Frisco going to start a family right away? Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. Oh? Excuse me. Mm. So, Felicia, I know your husband's graduating this week. How'd he like his training at the academy? I think he would have enjoyed it a lot more if he'd had a different instructor. Really? Yeah, you wouldn't believe what Captain Lewis put him through. We think that he had it in for him from day one. He just would never let up. I personally think that Lewis was probably jealous of him. He would have flunked him if he could. Jealous? Well, I mean, what else could he do? I mean, the man was a tyrant. <laughs> well, I suppose it's a good thing Guy's been promoted and won't be teaching the cadets anymore. Guy? Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm Mrs. Lewis. Your husband? Oh, Nina, let me help you clean up this mess. Oh, well, thanks, but I'm going to ask Felicia to stay and help me clean up. Oh, she's the guest of honor. I know, but I'm supposed to stall her, so she'll be surprised at her shower. Oh. I hope Vince will be able to do the same with Frisco. No, yeah, we're lucky. Rick's car is still out in the driveway. Yeah, it's a good thing we caught him. Uh, we got a lot of tickets to sell. <laughs> you get upstairs and you no! that. You no! Smitty, watch her. Wiz. Stay with the doc. You, 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 come here. Come here. Shh, shh. Jimmy, do whatever he says. Way. Better let him know. Jenny Rack! Okay. Open the door. Jenny! Hi, 
Hi. Listen, I wonder if you could do me a favor on some rap tickets. I told you. Drop your belts. Very slowly. Now! This was really sweet of you, Nina, to go through so much trouble. Oh, it was no trouble at all. Everyone helped me do all the work. We all stick together. As cops wives, we always do. <sighs> William. Oh, it's okay, Mom. Let me get you some tea. I'll call the precinct and see if I can find out what's going on. What's the matter? Why did Mrs. Wells seem so frightened? This is her husband's precinct, the 405. Whenever she hears a siren, she naturally thinks it might be him. He's in homicide. I really don't need any tea. Uh, look, let's just clean up yeah, this I mess. Good. I mean, if, if we don't, we're going to be scrubbing up for days. How could she be so calm? I'd be crazy. After 25 years of it, Felicia, I don't know any, how anyone would, though. I don't know if I ever could be. Well, we know what our men are doing today. Right, selling tickets for the PAL. All right. <laughs> I'll take this for you. Oh, thank you. And this. You just sit down, little pregnant lady. Where's the other chick? I locked her in the bedroom with the kid. I mean, I pulled the phone out, so don't Attention worry about it. Viewers, be on the lookout for the tan van carrying four robbery suspects. Last seen heading north on Bleecker. Repeat. The suspects are armed and dangerous. Hey, all right, we can stay one step ahead of the cops. And... Damn it. Broke it. Cop broke it. No! Yeah! Oh!